A very humble welcome back to my farm, guys. Um, bit to do today, so if you want to come along and see what I get up to, you're more than welcome. Uh, first thing I'm going to get into today is I'm going to check my animals. So we'll just have a quick look here. We've got... Uh, the sheep are pretty good. I guess I could give them a bale of hay. Give them a clean. Their water's not too bad. Okay, chickens definitely need a clean, but their feed's pretty good. So I might head down, clean the chickens, and then we'll go up and have a look at the sheep. Um, oh, the wool is done so we'll just shut this door head through here I'll jump in my TLX I do have now the updated TLX this one has the big off-road tires beadlocked wheels and I have the trail boss tub on this one this one is now 6.7 litre V8 tuned engine in this one where before I just had the 4.2 litre um, if you want to check that out, go and see my latest video on these on my channel. I'll go into a bit more detail with them. Um, but yeah, for now, I'll just park it up here. I'll jump out. I'll just go grab uh, the new Challenger. This one here. Also changed when I first bought it. If you saw my previous video, I had the dual wheels on it. Um, I did change that back to single wides just for the fact that if I tow anything down the road to, to the barn or the biogas or any cell point the dual wheels were a bit right wide on the road so that's why I've changed them back to just the singles um, still a pretty cool tractor so we'll just tidy up the chickens here for a sec that all nice and clean up, oh, yep, got one more pallet of eggs to fill and they will be ready to move. Alright, so we'll put this back now that they're clean. Might just leave the challenger there because I will probably need that later. Jump back in the ute and we'll head up to the sheep yard. Um, while we're driving up there, just a couple of updates. I did put a fuel tank in up at the sheep yard just so if I'm harvesting up there and I need to top up fuel, I don't have to come all the way back here. Oh, nearly missed the turn off. That's alright, I'll just go this way. I did, as I was saying, I have a fuel tank up there so I can fill up any of my machinery up there, don't have to worry about coming all the way back to the main farm, I have a bit of harvesting to do as well later because both my soybean fields are ready for harvest as well as my oat field so I'm going to harvest the oat field and store the oats because I'll need them later the soybean I'll probably just sell depending on the price. If they're not at a price I would like, then I'll just store them till the price is better. What else did I get? Oh, that's right. I did buy another cleaning shovel to keep up here as well at my sheep yard. Messy buggers they are. I'll just park that there. Look at that mess. Far out. Anyway. Jump in the case, we'll get the cleaning shovel for it, which I have tucked away down, no, not down there, I thought it was down there, my mistake, it's over here near my front loader tools. Alright, we'll get that, we'll clean the sheep up, and then we'll get the front loader and move the wool. Seeing as how the wool is full. All 
Alright, now that the sheep are nice and clean, we'll just put this back in the shed. And we will pick up the front loader and we will move the wool. Um, as I drive past, I will show you my fuel tank. Turn my beacons on. If anyone's around, they know I'm coming. Shouldn't be since it's my farm, but you know, safety first. I do have a bit of wool built up there, so I'll let this build up a bit more and then I can load them up and sell them. I am looking at either picking up the Hulk Plus Plus in the flatbed configuration um, and then putting a little flatbed trailer on the back of that. I can tow my tail hander around if you've seen my previous episodes some of the sell points won't sell my product off my trailer so that's not drama so to get around that just thought I'd buy a flatbed something whether it be a truck or another trailer um, thinking of the truck but now that I've got the ute I might actually um, just get a longer versatile gooseneck trailer and then that way if I make it long I might be able to fit my wool and the tail handler on the one trailer together same with the eggs when I get to the sell point then I can um, unload it with the tail handler, sell it, throw the tail handler back on the trailer and um, yeah it might make selling my stuff a bit easier but while we're here guys that's my little fuel tank there I get fuel out of that 10% cheaper than anywhere else so that's why I've put that on my farm but it'll save me driving back and forth from the main farm to this one so that's a new thing on the farms up here Alright, so while I'm here, I'll just drop this bag handler attachment off. Pick up the bale forks and I'll give the sheep a tiny bit of extra fuel. Fuel, sorry, I mean food. Because, you know, you give sheep fuel instead of food. But, anyway, maybe on a different planet. But, here on this one, we give them food. Anyway. We will get that done. Just need one bale, so that one there will do the job nicely. Alright, we'll just park all this back here. Uh, when I do harvest my oats, I will get straw off them, so I may have to come back up here with a tractor and bring my baler down to bale that straw up. And then I can sell the straw bale, so that'll make me a bit of money that way too. Probably not a lot, but a little bit of extra money is always handy. And there, over there, as you can see, that's one of my soybean fields. It is ready to harvest there. Yep, ready to harvest. I should get good yield off them, so I'll bring my harvester my trailer up here later and we'll get into harvesting just 
now that the animals are done, I would head back and start harvesting. Ashes to ashes, hot flashes, will she let me in? You see, this one's got a vibe for brain When I was slow, and a sissy strut that'll make you have a stroke I need a paramedic Cue number two Distressy Bessie with the stethoscope and an attitude Quick as a flash, she's up to cold, out of control Taking my whole affection, attention and swallowing it all When it rains, it pours, and it floods, then it storms, and it's all mine she comes when he calls and he runs when he's bored Then the third hits the door and it's all done Is a pearl, the kind of stir it up whirlwind you want to make your girlfriend And the other was a lover like a mother With an undercover love of loving others Lovers under the covers And she mixed in with a little bit of sympathy and TLC And the sister got the best of me with her estrogenity And as much as I hate to see them hand in hand And it makes me sick I guess it's just a new take on an age-old classic But it rains, it pours, and it floods Then it storms, and it's all mine she comes when he calls and he runs when he's bored And the third hits the door and it's all done Now that my harvesting is 
finished, I'll just take this down to the main farm. I'll grab my harvester and take it down a bit later. It's right there for now. Um, I'll throw this in my silos and then I will get a total of how many thousands of litres of soybean I got from both fields. Um, seems like a pretty good yield. At this moment in this trailer off that field I've got 35,467 litres in this trailer. Couldn't remember what I had in the first trailer so I'll dump these in the silo and I will check on the total amount that we have should be a good amount for sale which will be good I can sell them later uh, after that I will come back up to the sheep farm and I will get my case and, and get it fertilizing that field I just harvested and then I will bring the baler back down to the main farm and I'll start picking up that straw on the field there that I took the oats off which is field 14 um, I'll turn that into straw bales and then I'll get the fertilizer running on it down here and then I'll cultivate all my fields, get them fertilized. I think field 17 needs lime, so I'll lime it as well. Get all my fields prepared and ready for growing new crops again. Thought I might change it up a bit. I might put canola in field 17. Put soybeans again up the top and there's that other little field that's ready to be planted but I'm not sure what I'll put in that okay so there's my soybeans guys so off both fields I have just over 70,000 litres of soybeans I've got 70,040 so that should give me a good bit of money once I sell them so that wasn't a bad yield that time happy with that so I will go and put this trailer away for now. Chickens are still producing eggs, so that's good. in this new tractor too it's very handy awesome bit of gear all right so i'll drive up here i'll grab the baler bring it back down here like i said to turn those straw swaths on field 14 into straw bales and i can get my tail handler load them up onto my trailer take them for sale that'll bring me in a little bit of extra money i'm not hoping for a whole lot of money off the straw bales but any bit of profit is good and then i'll get into getting all my fields prepped cultivated and ready for planting again um, and just while I'm driving along, um, you might have seen when I was harvesting my fields, I put a harvested each end of the field first. Not the oat field, but on the soybean fields. Um, I do that, it's what they call a headland. Um, I did that because when you set a worker off, a lot of the time in your equipment, um, depending on the room you have, on the end of the fields like especially on some maps so if I just sidetrack for a minute and we come down here especially on this field here field 37 at the end of this as you might have seen on the harvesting bit there's not a lot of room here to turn around because it's basically end of the field bit of grass and then a rock wall so if I hadn't cut that line in along this field 
end of this field here there wouldn't have been enough room for the harvester to turn the AI in the game wouldn't have recognized that so that's why I cut the headlands in on my fields just to give the harvester more room to turn around even if I drive the harvester myself just makes that little bit easier for myself as well to turn it around but that's why I do it if you're wondering why I did that but anyway back to my farm work I'll just park this big fella right here jump in the case and just come down here and grab the fertilizer oh, I'm hooked up on the tank here what's going on alright I'll have to push that back into position just move that over there for a second Maybe I need to buy an extra storage set up here. That's something I can look into. I'll pick up my fertilizer. Alright, so I go and fill that up. Now that that's full, I'll get this guy off and running on my field, fertilizing up here. Oops, sorry about that, bumped the wrong button. So again, not a lot of room to turn, so I'm going to put in a headland of fertilizer. Turn that on. And just while I'm here, I'm going to explain another little thing that I do. This is my way of doing my fields. You obviously, you don't have to follow me. Um, the main goal is getting 100% fertilization on my fields. Um, once you, The more fertilization you have on your fields, the more yield you get off your fields with your grains or whatever product you decide to grow. So what I like to do is... I will harvest my fields as you've seen and like right now straight away I will put in a row of fer fertilizer here I'll do one again at the other end normally I just do it myself but today I've got a bit on so I'll set a worker off on this field but this is the way I do it so I do these two and then I'll set my worker off up and down it just gives him enough room to turn around and line everything up but um, yeah back to why I do it this way is I harvest then I fertilize that gives me my first fertilization state which gets me to 50% fertilization on my field and I'll show you once I've done this set my worker off then after that, once the fertilization is finished, I will cultivate the field. And then before, sorry not before, after I finish cultivating I'll then run another fertilization over my field. So as you can see here the darker soil is fertilized. It says there at the bottom info window that my field's been harvested, did have soybean in it, and it's at 50% fertilization. If we just nick over here to where this has been harvested, it says there 3% to 0% fertilization once harvested. So I do that, gives me my 50% fertilization. I then cultivate that in. Then I run another fertilization state over my field, which gives me 100% fertilization. 
and then I go ahead and proceed to seed with whatever crop I wish to put in my field and then that gives me my 100% fertilization right at the start of my plants growing and then I don't have to really touch my field again until they grow um, in this game I do have weeds turned off but if you play with weeds on um, then you need to buy a weeder and after the first growth state of the field you run your weeder over after the, you can only do it on the first growth state of your field if you don't then you will lose yield off your field if you let the weeds get too bad but I don't have them turned on for this series just thought I'd let you guys know that I mean you have the settings on the game how you want to play but I might turn weeds on on my next series but just for this one I don't have them on right, enough of me blabbering on about what I do on my fields um, as you can see I've grabbed the baler I'm now heading down to field 14 to start baling my um, straw swaths that my harvester left behind off my oat field um, you can only get straw swaths off wheat, barley and oats I'm pretty sure every other crop does not do straw Alright, guys, all my baling's done as you can see. Just going to run the baler back up to the sheep yard farm. I'm going to come back down with this tractor, check on my fertilising. I'm going to run back down here, get the fertiliser down here, fertilise both the fields down here. Then I'll get the big tractor out and I'll get the cultivating underway. And then once that's cultivating is done again, um, I will get fertilizers out once more, run over all my fields to get them to my 100% fertilization that I was talking about before. Once that's all done, I can then get the planter seeder out and I can start putting my crops back into my fields. Get them growing and once they're ready to harvest, I can sell them as well. Okay, looks like that guy's done, so I'll just move him out of the way. I will need this guy later. Just park him under the tree for now. Right, we'll head back down to the main farm and I'll get those other two fields fertilised. Then I can just set my cultivator off running. And while that's being done, I can look at selling my soybeans, see what money we make from them. Do a good bit of profit, and I can maybe look at putting in another little storage shed just up by the sheep farm just because it looks like I may need some more just for some few items of equipment 
Um, free up some space in that shed. Actually, I might just put that there. This field over here needed liming. So I might have to get the lime spreader out and do this field over here first. Just remember that. I'm just going to need my tail handler for a second. That should be plenty. Just put this guy back. And we'll get liming with the other field out there and then I'll start my cult of fertilizing, sorry. I'll uh, get my fertilizer happening on these two fields and then cultivating. It's a fine day, but it started to rain And I met a little boy at the end of a lane I said, hey man, it's cold, you got any wool? And he says, no, nah, but I know a black sheep with three bags full So I followed his finger in a straight line And got jumped by three little swine The rain got cold, the rain got worse And the piggies ran away with my man purse I meander broke and lost and I met a little fox with the golden locks And she had to sleep in her eyes and porridge on her face Her and three bears were having a race While Peter the Papa gave me a pickle pack of peppercorns And told me to deliver them to a shoe with doors An old lady said I live there And she gave me 99 bottles of beer I said thanks I put them up on the wall Put it back and then plumped it up to drank them all And had to fall and broke his neck And the horses and men laughed and laughed this life for me is another day in propaganda land A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, the medicine go down I see this life for me is another day in propaganda land I should be going to mother do some propaganda When I ask for the time, my old mother huffing And she got a hickory dickory dock out of a cup And she said when it ding dongs better just look south I don't worry, you figure it out Well, a girl named Mary had a baby sheep But another girl claimed it and her name was Bo Peep And came a deep eyed short and stout He sat a bolt down and he salted to doubt Well, I got a talking to a dish and a spoon They told me about a cow jumping over the moon And about three guys rubber dub in a tub All soapy and sticky and that was enough So I left, I followed three blind mice They took me to a hill and said, climb in mine Trust us, said but little mouse When you get up to the top, look for a straw house Up the top was Jelly Jack's pride With a man stuck in a candlestick and all of that They said they were there to fetch a smell of water But to me, it felt like they were going home in the daughter, but then my hickory ding down the Nile of South Welcome back guys um, While I've been off camera, I have prepared All my fields ready for Planting, I'm just finishing up plan finishing up 
field 17 sorry with its last fertilizing stage um, then I've got to head back up to my sheep yard I have more wool pallets ready to be moved up there so we'll jump in the in the TLX and we'll head up there and move them and then I'll get planting on my fields um, I was thinking maybe this field here I may look at putting canola in this field something a bit different um, I will put wheat over on my smaller field over there which is field 15 and 16 that I made into one field over there I thought I could plant wheat in that canola in the field I just finished off there um, field 14 could probably put corn I might give corn a go I just need to go and buy a corn header if I do that but that's no worries I'll be the money there in the bank and I was thinking I could uh, do soybean up at the sheep farm again also while I was preparing my fields I thought I might save up and buy a fourth tractor so I can have two down here just park that there for a sec because I'll need a wash when I'm done uh, yeah back to what I was saying um, buy a fourth tractor um, I think I will go with another challenger just because they're awesome tractors um, stick with the challenger theme except for my little case Puma of course um, but yeah, I'll get another tractor. I can have two down here at the main farm. I can have two up at the sheep farm, which will make working my fields in two separate areas uh, a lot easier. So that's my idea, guys. I am looking at still getting an extra storage shed up here for my sheep yard, just to move some minor equipment into, just to give me extra room to have in the big shed just seems a bit overcrowded in there with all that gear so I might just pop a little shed outside and I can put keep the case Puma in it um, with all its attachments and stuff that way I can move some other things around jumble it around in there and, and make it a bit more tidy might even clean the sheep while I'm here so I'll just park this here again so yeah, they're my ideas for this yard. Um, all right, I won't worry about taking that off. I'll just lift that up out of the way. I'll zoom in. I'll just pick up my cleaning shovel. So that was my other idea as well. I'll get, I'll bring the Agco 1000 I have up here to, um, live up here with the case only because I'm thinking they both have PTO drives on the front and back um, which will be great up here for running mowers I can have either uh, either of the tractors run my mowers for my grass field while one mows I can get the other one I can use the other one to bail so I can pretty much like I guess kill two birds with one stone as they say but we'll just drop that off there bring this back down so I can pick up a bag lifter and we'll go and move these sheep pallets Once I move these, I will head back down and grab the bigger tractor, grab the planter, cedar, and I'll come back up here and I'll run my soybeans in, and my canola, my corn, my wheat, obviously, and 
hopefully that'll all grow and then it'll be just some different crops I can sell to make my money I'll keep building up my wall once I've got enough of that I'll sell them so I'll have to bring my flatbed up here and sell them or actually that's what I've got to do like I mentioned at the start of the video I've got to actually purchase a bigger flatbed so I can move my tail hander around with me as well just remember that anyway that can come at a later date I don't quite have enough wool to where I would like it to sell yet just put this away jump in the TLX we'll head back down to the main farm and we'll grab the gear to start seeding It was a fine day, but it started to rain And I met a little boy at the end of a lane I said, hey man, it's cold, you got any wool? And he says, no, but I know a black sheep with three bags full So I followed his finger in a straight line And got jumped by three little swine The rain got cold, the rain got worse And the pickers ran away with my man purse I meander broke and lost and I met a little fox with the golden loss And she had the sleep in her eyes and porridge on her face Her and three bears were having a race While Peter Papa gave me a pickle pack of peppercorns And told me to deliver them to wish you with those An old lady said I live there And she gave me 99 bottles of beer I said thanks I put them up on the wall Put it back and then plumped it up to drank them all And had to fall and broke his neck And the horses and men laughed and laughed this life for me is another day in propaganda land It's room full of sugar helps the medicine go down, the medicine go down I see this life for me is another day in propaganda land I should be going to mother do some propaganda When I ask for the time, my old mother huffing And she got a hickory dick, could be dark out the book up And she said when the ding dongs better just look south I don't worry, you figure it out Well, a girl named Mary had a baby sheep But another girl claimed it and her name was Bo Deep And came a deep eyed short and stout He sat them both down and he started to doubt Well, I got a tongue into a dish and a spoon They told me about a cow jumping over the moon And about three guys rubber dub in a tub All soapy and sticky and that was enough So I left I followed three blind mice They took me to a hill and said, climb in mine Trust us, that fun little mouse When you get up to the top, look for a store house Up the top was Jill and Jack's pride With the moon stuck in a candlestick and all of that They said they were there to fetch a smell of water But to me, it was like they were going home in the daughter But then my hickory dinged on the Nile of South There it was at that old store house oh, With my baby sitting out the back With my purse on his lap, sipping the good side You know what I did? I kicked the door, I said let me in and he mumbled something off about his chin and chin chin and came a wolf who was full of breath So I hit the back, snatched my purse and left Alright guys, I think for this episode I'll wrap it up just there. I have planted my field 1516. I think that's what I'll refer to it from now, which is the field 15 and 16 that I turned into one field. So that'll be my field 1516. It is completely planted and sorted out. It has wheat growing in it. As you can see there on my right, it has started to grow. This field is completely done now. I've put canola down in that field. I'll finish my other two fields off camera. Um, I think I'm going to head out to field 17. I'm going to put... Uh, I might throw some corn in this one. 
Uh, no, see, I might go Sunflower on Field 17, but anyway, like I said, I'll wrap it up there, guys. I'll get these other two fields planted. Obviously, this one with Sunflower. The top one, I'm going to do soybeans again at the sheep yard. I will have to go down the shop and get a corn and sunflower header, which I'll grab off camera as well. Um, I'll update you when I come back on the next episode. But, like always, if you've liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up. Uh, it'd be awesome if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you don't want to miss any of my uploads, turn on that notification bell. And just like always, until next time, I'll catch you later.